negotiation skills this has been one of the most important corporate training module in almost every organization and setup this is just not needed for marketing and uh, you know media professionals but it is also needed for anybody like you and me so the target audience for this present video is anybody who is in a conversation who negotiates the deal and who finalizes and fixes a conversational deal so welcome to the module of business negotiation skills let's move on to understand its course overview we will certainly talk on the topic and then we will move on to understand effective negotiation strategies uh, with qualities of good negotiators preparing to have a good negotiation deal venue and the time of negotiation the factors involved with uh, negotiation exchange of information being patient with negotiation moving on what to consider while bargaining getting out of an impasse uh, achieving mutual gain closing the deal dealing with working space tactics then moving on dealing with personal attacks and how to overcome it well this is one of my favorite sub module of the, uh, of the topic and i'll certainly discuss about it controlling your emotions and uh, you know with the conclusion of the topic Moving on to understand the uh, introductory part of the topic. Well, uh, I'm sure you know by now we should have a basic understanding about the word negotiation, a win-to-win -win situation between a party A and a party B, where you actually come to the consensus, fix and finalize a, a conversation or a deal. So it's basically a mutually agreed uh, a deal or a fix between a party A and a party B. So to talk about it, there are different strategies, there are different factors involved in negotiation and understand negotiation is just not needed for you know, people to fix a deal, but it can also be for you know, crucial conversations. It could be for a conversation that can be taken into you know, consideration by your management team or the leadership team or maybe at, at a personal front, uh, fixing up an appointment with your boss at the workplace or maybe fixing up a date with a person whom you really want to step out for a coffee. So all you need is negotiation and being open for negotiation. So we will certainly discuss certain uh, you know, attributes which are needed to be a good negotiator and what do I have to keep in mind in order to uh, not just retain relationship and as well as you know, crack a deal out of this relationship. Moving on to understand the effective negotiation strategies. Well, there are different uh, strategies involved and uh, are in the place. Uh, to talk about it, three basic things that comes out very evidently is worst uh, applied uh, technique and then there's something called best applied negotiation technique. So it's W-A-F-T-N-A and B-A-F-T-N-A with uh, you know, a W-A-P that is walking out uh, with a you know, closed deal. So these are three different strategies. I would really recommend our, uh, you know, to visit our website and read through a text a tutorial to understand it in a much deeper level and then go by implementing it in your personal life or at a professional life. Moving on, uh, qualities of a good negotiator. Well, uh, uh, you know, yes, eff efficient speaking, a positive attitude, uh, efficient listening, respect for the other parties, a sense of humor. For me, the most important thing is a sense of humor with a positive attitude can take a long deal in life, not just for negotiation, but for any, any sort of conversational deal. So in order to be efficient speaking, I need to be good listener, an active listener. So here comes the deal, you know, for every soft skill topic that we have discussed and that has been placed, uh, one quality that evidently speaks out loud is active listening skills. So I would really recommend do watch our active listening video in order to understand this, uh, you know, with a deeper connect and relate with the topic. So in order to be an active listener, take out all the labels, take out everything that you have in the mind and be just there with the moment, with the person and, uh, you know, have a conversation rather than, you know, not uh, ca carrying the biasness in the conversation. So it's all about, you know, being active listener, not carrying any biasness or any previous experience that you, we all end up carrying, maybe with the person or maybe with the experience as such. Moving on, a positive attitude can certainly take a long way, uh, followed with a sense of humor because understand it is just not about fixing a deal it is also how do i retain relationship and yet fix a deal and yes take you know the deal ahead in life 
Moving on, respect for the other parties. Well, this is certainly you know quite a sensitive issue because we we, we miss this out because we all believe every time that I speak up, I, I give out my own opinion, disrespecting the others, I have an upper hand. We all come in with a similar thought process. But uh, do you think you can actually respect the other party or the other person when I voice out my opinion and I give out my opinion quite vocally and quite loud? So next time when you're dealing with a person, have the statement quite evident in your mind and in your thought process that respect and respect for the others and then move on to understand it better. Moving on, next topic, preparing for a good negotiation. That is, uh, how do I prepare? Well, I certainly take some notes and uh, I should understand the background of a person, the party who is in the, uh, who's in the part of conversation and the conversational deal that you're looking out. Maybe fixing up an appointment with a training organization and then fixing the training organization as a training partner. I have to keep all the uh, you know do's and don'ts in my mind and the pros and cons in case I fix this deal and in case I uh, uh, you know win the negotiation what is that I can get on board and what is that something I can avoid and I'm supposed to avoid in the future. So these are the basic attributes that you're supposed to keep in mind while uh, being at the stage of your negotiation. Moving on, when you're in time of negotiation, that is negotiating at your place, well, you certainly would have an upper hand rather than you know negotiating at a, a third party's uh, place or an organization. And negotiating at the other party's place, well, this is not a taboo, but certainly you can relook into the aspect that you know negotiation can be dealt or can be uh, at your place. Time of negotiation, well, this is more like an agreed upon, upon you know, aspect because you cannot come up with a time where the third party is not available, where the party is not available uh, for the discussion. Moving on, factors of negotiation, that is opening the negotiation, that is exchange of information, and then we move on to bargaining stage, that is we are in discussion mode, opinions are exchanged, suggestions are exchanged, recommendations are being given out, Maybe this is a stage where you actually lose on respect, maybe at times, or lose on relationship as well, because over here, we all want to be at the upper hand, not uh, regarding the fact that there's certain sensitivity involved to retain the relationship with the person as well. End of negotiation, where there's a mutual consensus that happens, and uh, there's a uh, negotiation from our end and the other party, that there's certain compromises that we make up, and then we fix a deal across. So I repeat, it's the exchange of information, opinion exchange stage, and then we come to a consensus stage. Moving on, exchange of information. Well, this is quite an interesting uh, stage because it's just an open stage, an open-ended conversation where you don't have to be really be worried whether you might go to the next stage or you might be you know, uh, followed for the next process or not, but you just have to be open with your recommendation and suggestions. So if I like to give an example, uh, if I have to you know, fix a training organization uh, with the very fact of uh, getting training company as the associated learning partner, all I have to do is just give out all the homework and the research points that I've given or read about uh, the company uh, in an open discussion forum. Moving on, uh, being patient while negotiating, that is uh, one of the most important key element in the entire process is this word and perseverance. So when I say perseverance is multiple times you, you, you know, do not give up for an attitude uh, of being positive and uh, being patient enough in order to not just be in the entire process of negotiation but also having that positive attitude that you can certainly crack this deal is what we are looking out and this particular slide talks on. Moving on, what to consider while bargaining? Well, bargaining has its own pros and cons. So just try and chart down all the pointers, present it, and uh, clearly be uh, specific about why do you think so and why do you say so. And that can help you to be a good negotiator there. Moving on, getting out of an impasse, that is a stage where personal attacks have been given out. Uh, let's understand the fact that you know, each time you communicate, each time you talk, even during the negotiation process, it's the behavior of the person that we are talking. It's a conversation that we are connected, but not the, with the background of a person. So it's, it's either organization the person is representing, so I cannot sabotage somebody's uh, reputation just by giving out personal attacks, both from a professional standpoint and as well as in a relationship retaining standpoint. So avoid personal attacks. In case you are a victim of personal attack, uh, then we have to deal it in a very uh, quite a matured and professional manner. 
Moving on, uh, achieving mutual gain, that is uh, a win-win situation for both the parties and this is again basically a consensus that we agree upon. So maybe an X person would like to you know, go down or take a dent on certain things and then you take a dent and then we agree upon certain things and then there's all smile which can take us towards you know, this stage of uh, attaining the mutual gain uh, stage. Moving on, closing the deal, well, interesting fact because we have done a lot of work while we exchange the information, then we do a lot of suggestions and opinion building and then we come to the stage of not just uh, you know, fixing up a deal but also maintaining and retaining the relationship with the person. Moving on, uh, dealing with working space tactics. Now, this is quite a part of process of negotiation because again, the personal attacks and how do I deal and come over the personal attacks is what I have to keep in mind and there are a lot of strategies which are involved which can be really helpful and can, can, can come ha handy to you in order to you know, work towards this uh, personal space tactics rule. Moving on, dealing with personal attacks, well there's a quite an interesting thing uh, with very reason that we all undergo this in one stage of life, maybe at personal level or professional or university level as well. But what is most important is you know, we cannot stoop, stoop down to somebody else's level just because somebody is pointing out the finger, just because somebody is being direct and uh, you know, curt. So think on these lines of the fact that this is utterly unprofessional. And if I follow the similar rule, then there's no difference, big difference that you're making in the conversation. So personal attacks have to be avoided. And in case you're the victim, then you have to smoothly work out a relationship um, working with the person. Moving on to understand controlling your emotions while uh, negotiating, it is very important that I have a tap of emotions. That is, each time I'm communicating and connecting, my emotions takes a front seat. So having the knowledge of emotional intelligence plays a very important role and this is one of the looked upon leadership skill attribute as well. So un, uh, understanding the fact that not just the ac academic intel intellectual uh, ability but also the emotional intellectual ability of not just understanding your own, own emotions but also understanding the emotion of the other person plays a very important role. And once I have emotions in place, everything can be considered and taken into account right from my logic to my reasoning to my you know association with the person as well so it's very important that i i look up to something you know on emotional intelligence and try and implement those strategies and uh, uh, apply it and see that application can certainly help you and can kind of come handy in order to fix up a deal and be good at negotiating a, a deal conclusion uh, well i like to conclude with the last slide which is emotional intelligence it is very important and imperative that i uh, not just understand and rely on my emotions but i also have sensitivity towards the other's emotion as well while fixing up a deal so it is about retaining relationship and how do i take a deal forward thank you for watching